Hello students, wish you all a warm welcome once again to the channel of environmental studies under the banner of the Geological Society of Assam. For the benefit of the students, myself, Dr. Bishti Datta from Bergao Komaldwara College, Assam, I am going to present a discussion on an important topic under Unit 2 that is ecosystem. The topic is stream ecosystem hope this discussion will help you to an extent let us go for the discussion now let us come to the learning outcomes after going through the discussion you will come to know what is stream ecosystem structure of a stream ecosystem components of stream ecosystem and functional aspects of a stream ecosystem now let us go for all the topics one by one now let us discuss what is stream ecosystem a stream is clear water rushing over rocks and soils into deep pools although water looks empty but it is not a stream is home to many plants and animals many more lives along its banks it is to be noted that a stream generally flows through forest. A stream is a general term as a small channel of fresh water that contains flowing water. Stream ecosystems represent a small portion of Earth's surface yet are bore a disproportionate amount of the world's biodiversity and support many competing human societal services. Many streams are offshoots of larger bodies of water like lakes or rivers. Now let us discuss about the structure of stream ecosystem. While discussing this point, we must say that a stream is any body of running water that occupies a channel. It is normally above ground eroding the land that it flows over and depositing sediment as it travels. A stream can, however, be located underground or even underneath a glacier. Streams may be permanent or intermittent. Most important part of a stream is its channel or stream bed, the natural patches or depression in the ground that holds the water. As shown in the figure, while discussing about the flow of a stream, we can say that the top end of a stream where flows begin is its source and the bottom end is its mouth. In between, the stream flows through its main course or trunk. The flow of a stream is controlled by three inputs, surface water, subsurface water and groundwater. Surface and subsurface water are highly variable between periods of rainfall ground water on the other hand has a relatively constant input and is controlled more by long term patterns of precipitation roughly in order of size streams may be called various names like creeks brooks runnels and rivulets streams may be classified on the basis of its way of flowing or how it carries water Streams may be perennial or continuous because they flow all year long while seasonal ones or seasonal streams are only seen at certain times of year, usually in wet season or as a result of snow or ice melting. As shown in the third figure, continuous streams flow without stopping until they reach an end point or another body of water and as shown in the fourth figure interrupted streams on the other hand may have breaks or different reaches depending on sustainability barriers or other factors the land around a stream is simply called valley now let us come to the components of stream ecosystem 
like other ecosystems in stream ecosystem also the components are comprised of abiotic and biotic factors and let us come to the abiotic factors as you know the abiotic factors are defined as non living things that affect and shape the ecosystem the abiotic factors in an stream because in a stream ecosystem are temperature sunlight levels pH level of water minerals in the water precipitation levels water clarity and water chemistry chemistry of the water including pH levels along with abiding nutrients such as minerals chemicals gases etc in the water are some of the most important factors in a stream ecosystem the biotic factors biotic factors are all the living things and the factor within the ecosystem which includes producer various levels of consumers producers particularly include algae algae perhaps the most important biotic factor in a stream ecosystem because without this type of producer or algae there would be no way for energy to enter this ecosystem other producers including water lilies duckweeds etc and some trees along the banks in case of uh, primary consumers you can see the invertebrate species that are important to the stream ecosystems generally include segmented worms arthropods mollusks earthworms leeches water beetles mayflies dragonflies mussels and some small fishes etc in the secondary consumers larger fishes which can consume various types of primary consumers crayfish spiders frogs or water snakes can be included under the tertiary consumers large fishes can be included here we can mention that uh, some other animal species like bird species ducks kingfisher etc or some other organisms like plankton and various species of protist can also be included under the biotic factors of stream ecosystem and in stream ecosystem the composers include algae or fungi they do the same function or they play the important role or the same role as in other ecosystems decaying the producers and consumers and free their organic substances to the environment now let us come to the functional aspects of stream ecosystem functional aspects include the way how various biotic factors in the stream ecosystem are interconnected to each other as discussed in the previous presentations the biotic components of stream ecosystem are also interconnected via food chain and food web as food chain is the sequential relationship between biotic factors due to their feeding habits we can discuss this relationship with the help of an example as shown here in this figure various level of organisms in a stream ecosystem as shown producer primary consumer secondary consumer tertiary consumers there in this way the various levels are interconnected to each other via their feeding habits to form different food chains on the other hand as shown in another figure here various food chains can be seen the food chains are interconnected to form a network via their feeding habits which is called food web in this way the streams are bore a large portion of aquatic biodiversity and correlated to each other balancing the ecosystem these are the suggested readings for the presentation if this discussion was helpful for you or if you find that this discussion will help you to a certain extent then please like and subscribe our channel if you have any query or any questions to ask then please drop your queries or questions in the given email id thank you